I'm Bill Nye uh, here in New York, New York. So I'm going to read you some mean-spirited tweets. Somebody's got to stand up for science, man. I don't believe in evolution because then I'd have wings, and I don't. Science sucks. Uh, I'm not sure you, if you had evolution, you have wings. Your bones are too heavy. You gotta have hollow bones. You, you have to have feathers. You have to make some changes. That uh, branch and uh, cladistics and the evolutionary tree, you miss, you miss that branch. If there's reincarnation for you, come back as a bird. Way to go. But if you don't come back, you know, I'm okay with that. <laughs> really. This guy says, I hate how science lecturers bring evolution every chance they get. There's a lecture about evolution, I hope you'll expect that. He goes on to say that you, meaning me, I, the reader, may be an ape, but I'm not. A right mate? Well, it depends what you mean by an ape. We all have ancestors that were uh, very ape-like, but they were before we had bonobos, chimpanzees, apes, gibbons, all those guys. There was a, a pre-primate that you and I are descended from, even if you don't believe in it the rest of us know that you are descended from. And, and reading this, maybe you did miss a turn. Maybe, maybe you're not as, as uh, intellectually capable as everybody else. There's, there's some evidence for that. <laughs> this is a mean-spirited tweet. Any claim humans can control the great forces of nature that create climate to a definitive degree is incredible arrogance. Humans actually now move more rock and soil than mother nature does. And we have affected the chemistry of the atmosphere very, very fast. Nature would change a few dozen parts per million over a few millennia. Humans have changed it 30 parts per million in just two and a half centuries. Now humans actually are, had to have a huge effect on the uh, earth and it's not only its atmosphere, but actually the soil and rock itself. So while you think it's arrogant, actually you're, you're mistaken. Uh, uh, humans are changing the climate. I'm, I'm sorry that you are working so hard to deny that. Here's proof that the earth is flat and it has a number. Hashtag 1742 giant. Humans do not exist in space. That is a model space shuttle filmed in the 80s by NASA passed off as a mission. Uh, well, I really think you're completely entirely wrong about that. And if you really think the um, Earth is flat, why don't you be the guy or the gal? Go out to the edge of the Earth and take a picture. It'd be great. Everybody, you'd be an international hero. You'd be acclaimed. Or you could be absolutely completely wrong. <laughs> I like the, the second one. All right, let's see. How is it possible to have barometric pressure in our atmosphere if we aren't in an enclosed system? So somehow this person is equating cans, uh, soda cans or beer cans and pressure cookers with uh, a planet. The atmospheric pressure, what you call barometric pressure, which is from the fabulous Greek word for weight, is a result of gravity. Gravity holds the Earth's atmosphere on the Earth. It also holds us here. And when we try to leave the Earth, which we do from time to time, we have to fight gravity, generally with very large chemical rockets. But you can't just leave and, and live out in space because there's no air there. And you, you will notice that right away. Might be the last thing you notice. Keep us posted. This one says, bruh, I hate science. Well, I got a feeling the rest of us aren't crazy about you either. Who the hell decided scientific journals had to be so hard to read? Scientific journals are written to be accurate and reviewable by peers. It's not a comic strip, generally. Like, they take thought and effort to understand. Like, show some hustle, okay? I think farmers have every right to hate science. After all, misleading how misleading protractors are, but I, I understand this was a pun about protractors, things to use to measure angles, but understand that farming is science, that farmers embrace science constantly, continually. That's why farmers want to buy next year's seeds, they want to buy the latest and greatest seeds, they want to use the right pesticides without wasting money, they don't want to over treat, they don't want to under treat, they don't want to waste fertilizer, it's science! And I remind you, as much as you like this pun, uh, 
you rely on farms. Farming is not natural. If you stop farming, it goes back to some natural ecosystem. So the House Science Committee, Brett Bart News, global temperatures plunge, icy silence from climate alarmists. I don't know what they're talking about, but I'm sure they're cherry picking some datum from someplace where the temperature was surprisingly cold. Hey Breitbart, you're dead wrong, and you're gonna kill a lot of us through your dingbaticalness. Yeah, you heard me. You're leaving the world worse than you found it.